And moving on to other stories, the Nigeria civil society organization have described the just concluded off second election in Bayesa, Imo, and Kogi state as a further decline in efforts to improve the nation's electoral process. And this was as several of them gave their final report after monitoring the elections in the three states, saying that despite efforts to reform the nation's election legal framework, no significant improvement has been noted. They also criticized the actions of politicians and called for urgent reforms of political parties. Idong Joseph has details. The just concluded off cycle elections in Bayelsa, Imo, and Kogi states, according to election observers, were characterized by voter inducement, disinformation, ethnic sentiment, and abuse of power by incumbent governors, amongst others. These features have become more disturbing than before as they have shaped the environment of Nigeria's democracy with the nation's electoral body taking the blame. Can it clear to the political parties? They are, they are the problem. And but we keep to encourage them by diverting attention from what they are not doing right to looking at problems or failures in other institutions of, the, of, of society. And they are doing all their best to delegitimize the electoral process in this country. Every time you make reform, they find a way of going around it. We are concerned about the continuous decline in the quality of our elections and the penchant to lower the integrity standards of our elections, irrespective of reforms introduced by INEC and progress made in reforming our election legal framework. There is a need to separate the unpredictable technical failures that are due to the operational, logistical, and infrastructural challenges of electoral administration in the country, on the one hand, from the politically instigated failures attributable in the main to deliberate manipulation by candidates, political parties, and their proxies. While stakeholders emphasize the need for political parties to be a major cog in the conduct of free and fair elections in the country, they accuse incumbent governors of abuse of power, saying that their actions pose a major threat to democracy. We keep emphasizing electoral reform. But if you don't do political reform, then you can't get anywhere. Even if you have five years one term of five years. The problem is not that you have two terms or one term. It is that the political parties are behaving in a matter that shows that they are deliberately trying to scuttle democracy in this country. Election administration requires fundamental reforms to not only inspire public confidence, but enhance the legitimacy of election processes and outcomes. This includes fundamentally reforming the election management body, in this case, INEC, as well as the attitude of politicians to elections. With stakeholders calling for amended electoral act, they have also urged the National Assembly to speed up the process of legislation for a special election tribunal.